Hey everyone, I'm over here at Green Street Joinery with Jeff. Jeff and Rob have built this temporary wall to highlight the SAS 518 secret door hidden hinge. Tell me a little bit about this wall, Jeff. Well, looking at the wall, looks like your typical paneled wall you might find in any home. But we actually have two hidden doors here. The cool thing about the 518 is we're able to cover the door gaps so you have a completely hidden door. So here we have a door that swings out and next to you is a door that swings in. So this is perfect for a safe, a secret room, or maybe even a wine cellar. Right. Let's take a closer look at the hinge and maybe tell me how to install it and how it works. Sure. In order to install these 518 hinges, we're using the template provided by SAS. There's a deep side to the hinge and a shallow side. This deep side is always going to go into the jam, the shallow into the door. So this is a two-step process one mortise for the flange and one for this deep part that allows the mechanism of the hinge to actually sit inside the jam. When installing the 518 hinge we always install it into the door first so you'll place your closed hinge into the door mortise, drill your pilot holes and install the small screws which are provided with the hinge. With the hinges installed in the door we can lift our door into position, insert the hinges into the corresponding mortise and attach using the larger screws provided. Because of the design of the hinge, when open, the door is projected away from the wall to allow large moldings to clear without binding. This design allows for a completely hidden door. Well, Jeff, this is really some unique hinge. Have you ever seen a hinge like this before? I haven't. I've actually tried to build a secret door before, and I had the wrong hinges, and all I got was a door that bound up. Well, you guys did a great job on this project. If you use the hinge in an upcoming project, I definitely want to stop by and see it. Thanks so much for this, and I'll see you soon.